It's time to review the movie. Mighty Morbid Power Rangers, the movie. From 1995, y'all. I've been waiting forever to talk about this movie. I mean, those of you already know about the Power Rangers. Yeah, you already know that. And there's like a group of teenagers at the high school. Yeah, these are our main characters. Falk and Skull, the comedy leads of the group. And that's always been appeared throughout the series. But fun fact, it's supposed to be called Soon Ninja in Japan, where a bunch of group of heroic warriors just like them and take on the evil old Rita, uh, leader of all the monsters and creatures, and also rule the entire planet. But Master Thornon shield her inside along her henchman, Kren the Evil. There's our main characters, you know, Tommy, and Kimberly, and Billy, and our skydiving because this is a 90s movie. It's supposed to be awesome. And a thread that's also a part of the movie story, which will appear in the other film, which we'll get to another time. I used to watch this movie as a kid many times because I'm a huge Power Rangers fan. That's pretty much the whole series of our favorite heroes. They take down monsters, all this hiding their secret identities. These are Power Ranger heroes. Ignore that sound. My hands are a little itchy right now. Um. Throughout the series, it's been around since then, They're like endless merchandise, toys, video games, and a reboot movie, which came out in 2017. And I would say this movie is slightly better compared to this one. And it has some great, amazing pop songs in the 90s. They start pro skating with their horse. Anyways, to make a long story short, our, this movie's about how uh, the villain who's been trapped inside all the time name name Lord Ivan Ooze. Oh yeah, and that's Alpha, uh, the robot who's played by none other than Julia White. A.K.A. Urkel from Family Manners, but you'll also get to oh, another time. Yeah, speaking of Ivan Ooze, he's played by none other than Paul Freeman. And there's the evil leader, there's... There's Rita, with her henchman. Gordon, the lion king. Lord Zed. And Greg, and the pig, who's just there. Oh, his name is Morn. Now, I gotta say, the makeup designs of these characters look impressive back then. You can actually see his brain move in. 
Yep, he opens the egg and releases Ivan Ooze, which I hate to admit, he's the best character in this movie. And he kind of reminds me of the way he acts. It's kind of like Jim Carrey's character, half full of energy and power. It's like he has a thought on time doing his role in this movie. And I love his design in this film. It's been very impressive. So yeah, he wants his revenge on Zoran from on those great warriors that present him all this time. So that's up to our favorite heroes, the Power Rangers, to take him on. By facing his own henchman. And we get a pretty cool fight scene. And this is where back then where they used to fight you know, the Mason backflips. And they use their animal abilities. Use the M you know medals to summon their their so called powers. Yeah, exactly that word. Pink Ranger. Blue Ranger. Red Ranger. The Black Ranger outfit. And the Yellow Ranger. And White Tight. Now, God, I've seen them. Like that was amazing. In terms of a pretty um, incredible. Anyways, I have an ooze enters inside their lair. Also, the CGI does not age that well, which we'll get to in a, in a moment in this movie. I mean, Zoran looks impressive on here, so you'll see later. So, I have an ooze succeeded destroying his home. And he does has a few references because he's impressively evil being trapped inside six thousand years. Yeah, as a kid I didn't even know what greedy bunch and union means. Or in those references he met. Anyhow, our favorite Power Ranger heroes take out Ivan Ooze's goons, and there's like their amazing outfits. Not to mention cartoon sound effects. This is like the coolest scene in you know this movie. You see them beat up a few bad guys. Look at that. That's so cool. Ooh, splatter all over. I was gonna do amazing flats like those. As long as you just keep jumping around, like I do, but do those cool flats. Anyways, let's speed things up here. After the defeat, Ivan Uza's henchman, we've seen he, the White Ranger, Tommy, he uses his amazing weapon. He squashed them like bugs, gruesomely possible. However, the, their powers are gone. And they go back to Sordon's lair. Without Sordon's powers, whereas our hero can use them. And this scene didn't make me sad as a kid, it didn't make me cry. 
That's right. About that machine he used to die in. They have to find a way to get their powers back. Alpha explains that there's a strange plan. Yeah, plans of Vito's. It's the only way they can get new powers. He's a teleporter. And he explains. Won't be enough to get them back. And they question how they're going to get back. But and has no choice but to send them there. Meanwhile, Rita's lair and Lord Sid's lair, they realize that he finally was going to destroy them, but now... <laughs> I'm glad that they did that. Rita Repulsa does have that not just voice in the series. Yep, he takes over. And he easily took out both Rita and Zed inside a snow globe. And somehow they make her voice very innocuously annoying and high pitch. <laughs> and it works. And here comes my favorite line in the movie. <laughs> Alright, Dingle Dorks is one of my favorite lines they he ever said. Anyhow. Oh, he spits out mucus out of his mouth and summons these Hango warriors. So, yeah, that's. Ooze's power to being disgusting. And yet, it's so awesome. And they obviously ran on a planet that. Obviously, does not look like our planet Earth or anything. And I gotta say, some of their designs of these creatures look impressively creepy. While they're doing that, Ivan Ooze plans a idea to mind control the parents in Angel Grove. That's where they live at. To make them into like mindless zombies. He said to their factory to, to dig up the robotic bones that are buried underground. Let me get this touching moment here. That we have this um, great emotional scene. However, that moment's been interrupted by the Tega warriors. They're, they're defenseless about their powers. But luckily, a random lady shows up. And starts beating them up, senselessly. And square all those sticks around. Amazing and warrior raiders show up just in time to save their lives. the line where the power source apparently they know each other
So yeah, she'll help them for one condition to get them their powers back at once to see their planet from Ivan Uza's robotic monsters. Well, back on Earth, Ivan Uza's planet is succeeding. And without the Power Rangers around, he disguised himself as Christopher Lloyd's weird her cousin wizard. Trigging the kids to have fun with the oozy stuff. That's like, like slime. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyhow, our heroes will find their inner animals inside them. While the parent and angel grow, curiosity grabbed that purple slime stuff and made them into zombies. Or Alpha 5 is still reprogramming everything. And poor Zoran doesn't have much time left. So she uses a bit of sparkle to see what inner animals they have inside them. And they get ninja outfits. Impressive. Oh, you are the mighty oh yeah. You are the wolf. Agile Kennedy. Yeah, he gets a frog. Oh <laughs> yeah. And you funny are the falcon. Yep, they get their new ammo abilities and she turns into all owl. Back in Ranger Grove, this happens. <laughs> and you kind of know why there's a video game based off this movie. Because this movie's running time, it's just them doing their things. Anyhow, let's fast forward this. Is that. Ivan Uza's henchmen have failed to defeat the Power Rangers because of, you know who, defend them. What's her name again? Yeah, her. Anyhow. Oh, our heroes that go all the way there, walking and more walking. Uh, Fred tried to snap his dad out of it, but he's mind controlled by the ooze. There's nothing to do by just standing there, just seeing Ivan ooze. I can sure all the mindless parents are doing his evil banning. All the Power Rangers are having troubles of their own. Like this giant special effect. Okay, yeah, it's a big huge puppet. The guys are starting to attack them. Big skeleton. But luckily, Utami gets the upper hand. Like saying that classic line. Of course. That was quite easy. And now, war. Or not even Ooze doesn't want them around anymore and tell them to leap to their doom at the ground. And here we go, the CGI effects. Yeah, all the effects they do don't look that great. The CGI looks terrible on these giant robots. And they finally found the temple. 
But won't these creatures let them in? Anyhow, they do their amazing ninja skills to defeat them one by one. And Kimberly always keeps on getting in trouble. Anyhow, skip all this rest of it. We see them get their new horn on powers. And they got their outfits on. Our Anger Grove is in dire need of heroes right now. So they finally return and they get ready to use our giant robots. And this is pretty much where the special effects don't look that great either. Yep, they're CGI. In the show, they're just like giant. And I would say stop motion and robots, kind of like Godzilla. But I'm like this movie, the CGI doesn't look that great. But anyhow, our heroes take on Lord Zed robots while the kids are having fun. And here's this scene. Wow, it's pretty messed up to hear that in a kid's movie. Anyhow, our heroes take on... said robots. Ivan uses robots. While the children at Angel Grove stop the parents from leaving to their doom, and yet they know how to operate a mon monorail. They take out the giant robotic scorpion, all this stuff is a giant ant. And we get this weird effect. It's more disturbing than you imagine. Dive and ooze gets angry. Some giant we whatever the hell that thing is. He destroys the monor whale. Oh the Tommy. Yeah. Here comes a bird knocking machine to save their lives just in time. They use their giant robot machine working together and take on Ivan Ooze to end his reign terror once and for all. My old Fred and sent Bong and Skull to help by using a Fire truck, water, holes to slow them down. And they defeat Ivan Oos once and for all. By doing this. Yep, like every classic. It's 90s movies we see so far. Or if you see like a random bad guy, just kick them in the nuts. Oh, no. So our heroes defeat Ivan Ooze and the parents are back to normal. But what about Lord Lord Zed? Sword on. That's when they use their powers to bring him back to life. And I gotta admit, this one did make me cry and be carefully happy at the same time when I was younger. They use all their powers to restore him as a swollen head. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, can't play that. Copyright song, not allow. 
And I was Power Rangers. And I was the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. I love it. The acting is still pretty amazing back in the day. So the voice I did to the giant puppet characters and most likely some of the effects do not age that well. Sure, some of the CGI looks horribly terrible. Then it's great to see these actors doing what they always do since they first do the Power Rangers since 1993, being awesome. As bad as most people say, this is still a pretty remarkably amazing film. I enjoyed watching this countless times, and many people already talk about this movie to death every year. And most likely the video games they saw, uh, well, the series. Let me turn this light on so you can see my face. I still think it's a remarkably good film. This light has like a few flaws. The actor's still playing pretty well. Now, sure, all they do is walk around throughout part of the movie. Unlike the Power Rangers 2017, they don't use those robots until like an hour and 30 minutes into the film, which is a complete waste. Waste of time. But this movie, unlike that one that was like two hours long, this movie is only like an hour and 30 minutes long. I still like all the actors and the most likely impressive work they did in this film. It has some great songs, it has some interesting story that's plain and simple. And I'm just saying in the world, they always do. Oh. So, and most likely do what they always do best. Become the coolest teenage heroes of all time. That's pretty much the reason why I love talking about these old 90s movies. They still have a special place in my heart to this very day. I would just say, if you're like a huge Power Ranger fan, you might enjoy watching that movie a few more times. Or show it to your kids. They'll love it as much as I have. This film is still pretty remarkably interesting. I do have the VHS tape of it, but I had to rent this one from you know where. I like how the front cover looks exactly like the one the VHS tape. Nothing screams classic 90s style. Still has like the most impressive scenes ever made. Now like. You excuse me, we're gonna do another gameplay because I'm not done recording. You know, I just talked about the movie for like fully 29 minutes. Also, fun fact Nickelodeon already owns Power Rangers as well, as Fox did back in the late 90s. So if you're a Disney Power Rangers fan, you might like to uh, enjoy this as much as I have. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it. 
Hold on a second. You can see things here. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, right. Go, go, go. Go. Get it, go, go. It's Godzilla. Let's try that again. Take two, shall we? Let's see, get a number two. I might review a movie sequel as soon as possible. I don't care what movie sequel I'll be talking about right away. But I'll get to it as soon as possible. Which will be well, probably not tomorrow, but whenever I feel like I'm doing a movie sequel feature. I really don't got much else to say about this game. But I just keep a it's almost like a Mario Kart rip off. So uh, so picking up ions and other things. So this thing has some interesting music to listen to, but I'm not gonna remember a bloody thing about it. I mean, have you listened to a Mario Kart racing game? Those ones are pretty memorable. This one, I won't remember a bloody thing about it. Damn it. Let me miss. There's no avoiding that. Overheating. Heads up. I wonder if the sequel to this game has any voice acting in it. Like this one, you just get tough out when you're going out for a fan. Right in it. Let me know. 
Also, I win. Well, I'm playing this, um, I was gonna play that Mario Kart on the Wii U, but for some reason, someone put in, like, a password, the card that says, there's a reason why I don't know. So, you won't be seeing me playing Mario Kart games in a long time, unless I get the switch of it. I mean, before I actually had a YouTube channel, well, basically, in mean, my first time in 2019, of course, which is almost... Okay, before that thing hits me, before it hits me, um... I did start doing YouTube in 2019, and... I'm gonna say March 10th, so that's like, see... 20, 21... Almost three years now. I kind of wish I'd done it earlier. Freaking Link that just hit me. That's a lot. And then. Well, hi. See, hi. I was going to use that, you jackass. What was I talking about? Um. Oh yeah, Mario Kart. Our game, um. I mean, my dad went to a uh, Target. I did play Mario Kart on the Switch. I mean, I could easily record it on my channel and get more views, but I didn't have that phone with me to record my gameplay, because it'll become impossible to do both of them at the same time. And because I got nobody to hold it on to. Well, I'm playing the game. Who did that? Freaking Delica. Yeah, eat that, little brat. Also, I was going to play that Sonic Lost World, but it also has a password in it, too, so I don't know what the owner's password is about hooking it in to the gameplay. I was looking forward to playing that game, but nope. It's not, you're not going to see me play that game at all, which is a shame, because it's on top of where I usually top of the book down. I can play. Whatever. I'll play that. Man, it's getting harder than the dinner. Does any case you really want to win? Making this harder.
So you won't be seeing me playing any Wii U games that probably got a new Wii U pad or gamepad at all. Unless they remake. You know, Sonic Lost World on the Switch, which I'm pretty sure it's coming. That'll be totally amazing. Sure, people think that the Wii U. A game plan did not go too well in sales, so I still think they have like a few little marginally great games out there, like Paper Mario Color Splash, which I still have. There's, um, well, basically Pikmin 3. There's like, um, Kung Fu Panda, which is an awesomeness, which is also on the Wii U, by the way. And I did tell you that Mario Party 10, a few times, was also on Dorothy Martinez's channel. I haven't done that, like, in, like, almost a year now. Freaking turtles. Um, what else? Um, I think there are other greater I'm trying to think of other good what no, not switch. No, 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 I'm talking right now. The U game. Oh yeah, there's like Kirby's Rainbow Curse, which I really can't get out of my mind right now. There's, um... Oh yeah, Pac-Man Ghostly Adventures. Anybody remember that game? And the sequel? There's, um... Well, there's like a Hello Kitty game. Also on the Wii U. And I think there was like a Mega Man game. I'm not quite sure. Is that? Yeah, it's Leonardo. It's trying to get ahead of me. Um. I'm trying to get other greater games that were also on the, um, the Wii U game play. Oh yeah, there's like Adventure Time, for the Dungeon, if I don't know. There's like Sim Gang and Hit Edition, which will also do like a touch screen. Um, for the Dungeon, if I don't know. It's the same Adventure Time one. That's getting pretty annoying. Um, there's also, um, what else is there? Which is a platforming game. Um, um, oh, yeah, Shovel Knight. That's on the Wii U. That's a pretty good game, too. I should really play that one pretty soon. But the PS4 of that. Um, what else is there? Uh, 
to you all. This game doesn't look half bad when you play it. But trust me, you watch this game has voices in that. Oh, this is like the second game I had to play of no voice acting, just like a cartoon Battle Crusher, which finally relates to Castle Crushers, where they kind of do the same things with different abilities. Which also reminds me, I should do, um, I might do another gameplay later on. Um, well, I do. Oh. I have the game called The Darkness for Xbox 360 today. It was only like three bucks. Got from well, Easy Pawn. I'll see if I'm playing that game. You old brat. And I missed. <laughs> Take that. Some dirty little. Watch out! Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. Come on! Yes! In your face. It's in doubt, huh? Also, I kind of wish they would bring back Tack and the Power Juju. I know I said before, and I'll say it again. Please, Nickelodeon, bring it back. Well, probably as a reboot, but better quality. All right. Um, Alright, I'll be my Bungie boy, y'all. Anyhow, there are like a few good reusing. Oh, yeah, there's like SpongeBob, Tyson for a binder of it. Oh, wait, never mind. That one was way too easy. And I already did that game already. On a regular way. Um. That's pretty much it, actually. Oh, yeah, there's like Minecraft. Not that anybody cares about Minecraft nowadays, but they find it kind of a boring game. Short screen things is kind of fun, but after a while it gets boring. You have to or lie down probably almost an hour doing the same thing. But it has 
music just seems a little too quiet and all that type of opera music to go with it. People used to love Minecraft, but for me, I just stopped playing it in Minecraft a long time ago. And I need to look at you guys probably once, twice. I might have to tell you guys probably once. I do have like the Xbox 360 of this. We got Minecraft. Um, another one. Stop getting me these sewer lands. Um. Oh, I know, there's like that weird game called Omni-Grog. It kind of looks like a game called Neverhood, a point-and-click game. It's kind of like all stop-motion animation style. You guys might not have heard of it, but I have. It's a interesting game, so... Oh, it's cool, I guess? You might have to look it up on what it's supposed to be. I'm not going to spoil it, so if you haven't heard about it, but you have to look it up all to yourself. Ooh, so close. I think that might be all the Wii U games I can think about right now. Also, every time I talk, it sounds like I got a frog in my throat. Okay. That car is probably like a reference to Bowser. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Lego game. I would say those would count, but meh. Yeah, what the heck. I do like the Lego movie game, so there's that. Also, since when did Retard start talking? Oh yeah, right, because of that Rugrats movie. I remember he says, I am Retard! Ha! <clears throat> okay, I can't do that voice, but... You know what I mean, right? Oh, look at that. There's that giant robot from what I just said not too long ago. Plankton's robot revenge. I really don't got much else to say during this game play. I mean, every time you like play a game, you really don't got much else to say that you wish you would say something that's the game playing, you can't think of anything else. Let's but, um, talk about other references to movies and video games and basically TV shows. Alright, second place, I'll take it. 
Anyway, so um, I was gonna do like the Power Rangers movie as one review for like 20 minutes, so I think I made that one go on way too long. I was gonna play more of this anyway, so then I'll show you about a newer game that might be going over download. Yeah, hit that sign. Go, 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 go. You know what? What makes this game awesome? If it does like a double dash game, just like Mario Kart double dash, like the other character, and drop the load. Now that would be pretty cool. But nope, the see why just look up is kind of pretty much the same. Fire blast. This made Rex R angrier. Come on. Almost there. No more. No fair. There, that's cheating. Need it. Okay, remember well, this? It's hard to tell because it's on the uh, angle. 58 minutes? Damn. I knew I could make a Power Rangers movie a review of shorter. Oh well. What can I do now? Oh yeah, particularly rap. I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, I'll see where it's on next time. To be overweighted, we have it to the pit side. Sweet. Potato. Okay, enough of those games. Let's, let's all show you what game I got anyway. Before I end the video. I'm going to show it to you guys. This in the next video. But I'm gonna show it to you right now. Let me just inject it and put it in. It's gonna take a while to download. And much room it got is wow, two GB megabytes. Yep, got. Adventure Time, Pirates of Main Caribbean. I just want to make this video more awesome. We're classic 90s heroes. 
a movie and a gameplay. Isn't that cool or what? Also, it makes me wish I had that Smurf games already. But speaking of the Smurf, the three Smurf that I have right here. Mm hmm. Well, the Switch is $79.99. Wow. I can't believe GameStop wants to have a, that much pricing over that game. And I think the PS4 of it is like $20? $19? And then to recheck again. Because my memory on this used to be. Because I keep staying up late almost every night. Close to 12. So, yeah. Speaking of all classic 90s. You know, the Adventure Time came out in 2000. Oh, well, TV show that started in 2010. But, there was like a... This one does count as Nick Logan and Pilot Cartoon 2008, so basically Adventure Time is nearly fourteen years old by then now. And this game does count as like almost like an RPG game, if you know what I mean. So, I record a little longer before I end the video. So, let's go ahead and play this sucker. <laughs> I like that logo of that bouncy ball. Mind scene when I was younger, when I was at McDonald's, I used to find that ball pit almost all the time. Also, those of you already watch all the Adventure Time series as much as I do, it does take place before we got the final ser final season of the series for the encounter. Spoiler alert! Some wow ball did. Okay, Princess Bubblegum's uncle, which is evil. And now Adventure Time is doing like Pirates of the Caribbean with our friends. Put some music playing. Sure is pretty. Hey, maybe we'll see another comet. Man, I hope not. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared for that. Aww. We boring you or something? Yes, and also, my battery's low. Oh, yeah. You better turn in. I'm still wide awake, though. I'm gonna stay up here for a while. How about you, Jake? You know me, dude. I'm a non-stop stargazing machine. I can go all night. Okay. Good night. <laughs> Not again. Well, if they're late for breakfast, I will throw water on them and wake them up. <laughs> That's why Beemo's my favorite character. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, these loading screens last for like 30 whole seconds. How do I know this? I do have the Xbox One of it. But since my Xbox went, well, the Xbox One system went kaput, you won't see me replay any of the older games ever again. So I'll probably start re up recording in probably three minutes. Wow, look at that. Great way to start your game. 
in the mail by Ocean. Oh, don't tell me we slept their breakfast again. Dino's gonna be so... Whoa. I know, right? For some reason. Slip. How do we get into the middle of the ocean? I don't think we are in the middle of the ocean, man. Look! Looks like the Ice Kingdom. It must have melted. What are we gonna do, man? This is seriously messed up! It's straight up dong bongles is what it is. We better find out what's up. Wait, what about Bimo? He was down in the treehouse. Should we look for him? He's a pretty good swimmer. He'll be fine. Set course for the Ice Kingdom. What's left of it? Um, which way was that again? I'm not good with both directions. It's over that way. The cracking. Huh? We're gonna need a bigger boat. Huh. That's weirdly convenient. You know what they and say, random. man? Don't look a gift boat in the mouth. Or something like that. I don't think they say that. Yeah, probably not. Let's just take the boat and go. Okay. Hope that thing comes with a manual or a tutorial or something, though. That's way bigger than any boat we've ever sailed. Alright, finally. Alright, again, go forward, backward. Forward, backward. Speak to the Ice King. Speak to the Ice King to find out what happened. Did he cause all this? Well, technically, no. Yeah, this is where you have to carry all your items. It's like Adventure Time. Hey, Ice King, why you still our garbage? You have to carry as much as possible. That's like I can imagine this is kind of like an RPG game when you fight bad guys and all that stuff. If you want a fake game, you have to do this. Yep, like every game nowadays, you have to or change the volume. Also, I like how it shows all 2D drawings to the characters. There's a multi-degree demo 3D models now on a piece of no paper book. And I like how it says their names, Finn and Jake. You know you'll have other characters assisting you throughout the whole game. But spoiler alert is obviously going to be Marceline the Vampire Queen. And I think there's... Well, Bemo does help too. Kills you from taking damage. So that's pretty awesome. Bemo becomes a playable character, finally. And kills a star arm where you're supposed to go. And collect treasure. And you buy stuff, too. Grab it. So that's pretty handy, right? So yeah, keep making sure you collect all the treasures as much as possible. Oh, with Jake's ability to stretch, he'll collect as much treasure as possible. Which is pretty much the fun part. The more upgrades you get in this game, the more powerful your character becomes. Sorry, Finn, but we're gonna end this gameplay right now because my video can only last up to an hour and ten minutes. So, yeah, um, goodbye for now, everyone. I don't really go that much else to say, but, yeah, glad you guys stick around for like a whole hour and ten minutes of me talking about a movie and play both games. Well, basically the last one for like a short, short wave for like Three and a half minutes. 
So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. And please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. Yaggity yaggy, you know the rest. And, um, I'll see if I want to play the rest of this game or play another game that I should continue playing pretty soon right away. Because I know you like to see players like me continue right where I left off. But seriously, you can watch the Power Rangers movie. It's totally worth your time. Goodbye for now.